never known a love like this. It's your challenge. Hey, I see you squander. But you tell him you're a fine man. Oh. Big things, he got a dynamo. So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm God's favorite child. I know that's right. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much to me for coming yet back to another video with beautiful faces, beautiful people, and beautiful verbs. This is not what I wanted to do, but life happens, guys. Like I, I planned on filming proper deep conversation videos but things didn't go as planned so i decided to do a little teaser because all my videos need to have another person in the video you know so that's what i'm heading at thank you so much guys happy new year if i haven't already said happy new year can nature just keep quiet for a second and appreciate the fact that i'm filming a video thank you so much <laughs> happy new year guys um Yo, we're praying for the best, you know, the best of the best in 2023, child. Now, first of all, I'd like to talk about my mental health. In the past year, my mental health was shaky, guys. It was trembling. <laughs> Let's just say that um, a lot of things didn't go as I intended for them to go. I didn't get the results. I didn't get, not like results, but I didn't get the things I had planned. Every goal that I set was just, it was just crumbling, like... My mental health was so bad guys last year i'm not even going to lie to you i had so, i had anxiety attacks um a lot of people don't know this because like i dealt with them myself like i'm someone who doesn't like okay i don't know look at me try that okay i did have people i went to that really helped me through this and i really want to appreciate them so if you're one of them thank you so much for being there for me you know i love you so much um I, I had an anxiety attacks guys let's not even lie like you know i'm not someone who does who likes to paint roses and fairy tales gold and glitter but my life was just very rocky like last year it wasn't even cute it wasn't cute i went through depression in january like serious depression like cha if you notice i wasn't even active on social media i didn't upload i only then like created content when it was february when my birthday was approaching because my 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 friends and family wanted to cheer me up from all the drastic and disaster things that were going on like i was rejected so many times by universities like it was so bad guys like i was rejected i i was so hopeless hopeless i was rejected guys like you know i've never been rejected in life like i you know when you've never been rejected in life and then that one university or that two or those three universities are like i'm sorry but we, unfortunately we cannot take you like you my chest i was too weak for that i was not prepared for any of that i was so i went into 2022 with such a positive mindset i was so ready to take on the world i i really thought that it was my year like it was my year like i was like i was really speaking i'm like this is the year where i'm going to shine you know but god was like sorry honey i need to prepare you you need to learn first you need to be able to handle situations and that has really taught me a lot i've i've grown so much like i'm not even gonna lie the same person that i was last year is not the same person that i was this year yeah sorry guys people are running around like yo i don't know what's going on the same person that i was last year is not the same person that i am this year the way i'm handling situations now i actually paused i'm like girl i'm proud of you because you've grown like last year i lost so many friends guys like i'm not even going to lie i lost so many friends like it was so scary like i thought i was going to be lonely and alone because everyone was just and obviously i would take credit for that because honestly I could also say I didn't put more effort to chase them. But then again, the me now, I'm like, girl, why are you chasing someone that doesn't want to be caught, child? Like, I lost so many friends. It was so scary, guys. Like, you. It was so scary, guys. It was, I'm not even going to lie. It was so scary because it's like every person was just leaving me, leaving me. And I'm like, yo, guys, what have I, am I that bad of a person? Am I the drama? <laughs> but i've lost so many person left right and center people were leaving me and at that point in time i realized that god was isolating me because he wanted me to hear his voice more clearer so sometimes guys sometimes when people leave you it's not because you're the problem or sometimes it's not even because they're the problem but it's because god is removing certain people in your life to create space for new people 
and it's okay it happens like god can literally take you out of a chaotic environment and place you in a quiet environment something that you're totally not used to because he's trying to prepare you groom you mold you into a person that will be able to maintain blessings when they come because i honestly want to say if i if god answered all the prayers i prayed for last year i promise you i wouldn't have been able to handle those blessings i would have lost blessings and guys these things happen you can't lose a blessing if you do not have the proper character and the proper environment and the proper mentality to be able to maintain that blessing it happens guys and i'm so grateful that god didn't answer some of my prayers and like my friend danai always says delayed does not mean denied sometimes you can pray for something and because you've not received it then does not mean that you've, it's been denied it's just been delayed because god is pruning you removing the itty bitty toxic things from you the bad things from your character to bring in the good things that can be able to maintain that blessing that is about to approach you and that's something that i didn't know last year i i honestly felt like every time i prayed for something i wanted it there and then but i then sat down i then realized god showed me that no sometimes you can't get certain things because you're not prepared to receive that thing from you and that's okay guys that's something that you need to accept and yeah it's just it's it was i was so grateful to all those people that i'm i i'm not in contact with anymore i still love you i still care about you but i just feel like we're no longer serving each other's purposes we no longer doing what god has called us to be maybe we will not have benefiting each other anymore and that's okay it happens people grow out of friendships people lose stop serving each other and that's life you know life everything is seasonal another thing that i really I'm currently suffering from his imposter syndrome guys I have such a I'm so pessimistic in the sense that every single thing I want to do I feel like oh, will people like this like it's not as if it's not gonna be it's not, I just have this like negative thing of even especially YouTube videos every time I want to film a YouTube video I just have this thing of do will people even like what you're filming do, do you think people will even care like because like I've, I've just been so through so much dark spaces in my life where I feel like everything now, every person is has bad intentions, everything is bad, nothing is going to last. It's, it's just something that I'm still trying to deal with and I'm, I'm, it's a work in progress. This video, I honestly feel like no one is going to like this video, but I'm still filming it because I know that it's going to serve purpose, it's going to serve, serve me as well, it's going to help someone and this is why i'm actually starting this series it's because i know that i'm serving as, as much as i'm serving purpose i'm serving the community i'm also serving me i'm healing i'm evolving i'm growing through the process and i own i know that whoever is going to come on each and every video i'm going to film on deep conversations is going to get closure from whatever they've dealt with they're going to heal they're going to get affirmation and that's something that i'm really proud of yes obviously these conversations that i'm going to have with people it's not trying to show that i'm perfect or i've dealt with everything because let's not even lie like i haven't but it's just to show that I've, i just want to show someone i just want to help someone with something i've learned with that no some things happen for a reason rejection is redirection literally like let me be honest with you if everything that i had planned to happen to me in the last few years had really happened then i wouldn't be the person i am today i wouldn't be where i am today right now i wouldn't be sitting here like i would be somewhere else you know but yeah these things happen and someone asked me i did a little q a to answer a few questions because i know that some people have been trying to ask me certain questions about what i'm doing where i am what's going on in my life i really don't i really don't like disclosing every bit and piece of my life i just i allow certain things and other things i withhold but um another question that i got is what are you most proud of thus far in 2023 i don't know if i should be disclosing this i really don't know if i should be sharing this you know because every single time i've always had this thing is do not say it until it's permanent do not disclose of information until you know that it's permanent and i want to also help you guys do not disclose of information to people you have 
second thoughts about do not share your intimate or your personal information until you know it's permanent until you know that this blessing is here to stay it's secured you know until this season or this thing that you want to do has come to pass and yeah this is it's, it's a good it's something that's good but it's something that i wouldn't necessarily make it a big deal but at the same time i'm like girl you doing ivy league now child like you're doing ivy league like make it a big deal okay so one thing i'm proud of is i am um, i'm just I, I see the world differently now i i've i've i'm able to handle certain things with maturity that i would have never done and that's something i'm proud of i've been first of all i traveled alone guys that's so scary but i traveled alone like like leaving the country alone it's my first time traveling alone and it's i i just realized that girl you grow now you're an adult you know you're turning 20 in a few days Ciao. literally tomorrow when you see this video i'm turning 20 tomorrow you know so it's just you know it's just a lot but i'm so proud of the fact that i've grown i'm so proud of the fact that i've evolved i'm so proud of the fact that i'm doing ivy league now cha i'm doing ivy league at harvard cha like that's something that i know a lot of people will be so scared and intimidated by but i was also very intimidated at first but i just said you know what just do it child like i applied and i got accepted into the um, the class so yeah i'm actually doing harvard baby <laughs> yeah it's not a big deal but child, it's not a big deal that sound is annoying it's not a big deal but it's also a big deal okay someone asked me why how how have i been handling disappointments in difficult situations beyond your control that is exactly what i was saying guys that i've been i've just this exactly my point anything that is beyond my control i do not stress i do not fit i used to but i'm learning how to not afraid like if it's something that i know i have no control over i let it let it go and let it god you know i let god take over because literally i have no control over how i'm how this is happening to me i have no control over that and that's just okay you know i've i've just been handling disappointment sometimes i allow myself to go through things if you're sad feel sad because if you bottle up all those emotions you are going to become a mess mentally emotionally and physically you're going to become a mess so every time you have you you go through something you're feeling dejected feel heartbroken you feel rejected you feel sad allow yourself to feel that okay allow yourself to feel that and someone asked me where are you studying and what are you studying First of all, honey, chill. I can't disclose of where I'm studying, like, but I'm doing law, right? But I, I like, okay, let me explain. I'm doing a, a course at Harvard in the until I go to school because I need to pass time, child. We need to make things happen, you know. We need to learn new things, and I genuinely miss school. I miss education. I miss essays. I miss writing, and child where i'm studying i cannot disclose of that information because uh, that thing is not yet permanent so i can't announce something that's not permanent like what i was saying but what i'm studying i'm doing law baby you know child looks like i love speaking i love public speaking i love speaking in front of people and i also love justice i love you the i love justice and i love fairness equality and i feel like that is something that i've enjoyed and if you know I did a law internship at this law firm in Zimbabwe, so it really accentuated my love for law. It made me realize that now, cha, I like this. I like this, and I'm going to do it. You know, this is a good decision that my my parents helped me to take. You know, and um, what made you not quit YouTube? To be honest, I can't really say what made me not because I still feel like quitting, cha. I still feel like quitting. It's so hard, but I feel like every single time I feel like quitting. I usually think of why I started. I remind myself of why I started in the first place. I'm like, girl, you started this channel because you wanted to motivate people. You wanted to make a difference in society, to be impactful, to inspire, and you still have a job to do. You're not done, you know, because God said you're not done. Because if you were done, you wouldn't be here. You have a purpose to fulfill. And I always feel like what I'm doing is embedded in my purpose. So I always say, child, you're not done. Because if you're done, you wouldn't be existing no more, child. So keep doing what you're doing, you know. And someone asked me, what's your favorite video that you've released so far? 
I really don't know, child. Like every video, every recent video I release is my favorite. So the New Year's vlog is literally my favorite right now. I'm also loving the Nyanga vlog and the Antla Park vlog. I'm trying, I really pray that I make more travel content because I see the responses. You guys really coming through. Um, I also love, actually, let me be honest. My favorite videos is when I speak like this obviously i know people love vlogs love to see what happens at certain places i go to and what i do sometimes but i really the main reason why i started my youtube channel is to make videos like this child is to do the segment you know but yeah i love i love vlogging as well i don't vlogging is hard but i love editing vlogs i love editing vlogs but i prefer filming sit down videos like this you know so that's exactly why this is this is just a teaser to this whole series segment i just hope and pray that i start making i film episode one soon because i really really want to start doing what i've god has called me to do and i know i'm not wrong like you when when it one thing i just want to say guys is if it's your purpose you will know hi bona lord your your, your creatures are making noise for me your, your bread is making noise for me but if it's your purpose you know you will forever know you would know it within you in your heart your soul your mind and your spirit that this is what i'm called to do i'm wondering guys everyone is asking where are you where are you i'm in essay <laughs> i'm in essay i'm in south africa chow yeah so yeah guys thank you so much team yourself for coming back thank you so much for watching this video if you've gotten to the end please um comment this heart and yeah just comment this heart and then yeah i'll put the heart over there and then please do comment that in the comment section and in the description below and thank you so much for watching until next time guys stay blessed stay shining and stay happy and joyful thank you so much and until next time bye